Hello everybody, welcome to another video of Crossover. Today we are going to be talking about or the way that you reply to someone. Now, this will make more sense once we get to talking to it, but not going to waste any time as usual. We're just going to hop straight into the first verse. And the verse that we have is Proverbs 15 verse 1. It says, A gentle answer deflects anger but harsh words make tempers flare. Now, think about it like this. You are like a mirror. And when you're having a conversation with someone, the emotions that you are bringing to the table, they are going to mirror off of you. Now, the other person is going to mirror the emotions that you have. So if you are, you know, angry, you know, it, it, well, if you're angry with them, I should say, then they are going to reflect off of you and get angry back. Now, that's not with all cases, but most of the time, people will get angry back because that is just the way that humans are, and that's how arguments start. You know, one person gets angry at another person, then that person gets angry at them, and then it just goes back and forth, back and forth, and it does not end well. And... That's the same with other emotions too. Now, let's say you go up to a friend, you know, and you're upset and you portray those, you know, emotions, then that person will also, you know, depends on how good of a friend you got, you know, like if, if you got a good friend that's, that cares for you and, you know, really feels your pain, then they will also portray that sadness. They will mirror that sadness. And it's the same with a lot of other emotions. It's not just anger. It's not just sadness. There are so many other emotions that can be reflected off of you just because of the way that you respond to people. Now, as it says, a gentle answer deflects anger. If you respond with a gentle answer, if you respond gently, if you respond, you know, nicely, you know, if you respond joyfully, then that person isn't going to remain mad. Now, let me ask you this. Have you ever gone into a fight with someone and you were angry with them or they were angry with you and uh, the other person just kind of reassured that person, the person that was angry? And, you know, they just replied calmly. They weren't angry. They just went with it. They understood you, and it's hard to remain angry at that person, you know? So, like, for a good example, if you were angry at someone then, and they started to reply calmly to you, how would you react, you know? I highly doubt you'd be able to continue that yelling that you're doing. I highly doubt you can, because the way that a human is, is... If they feel reassured, then they will kind of calm down a little bit. The way that things escalate, like in an argument, as I said, is when both people are just yelling at each other and they get more mad and more mad and more mad because of the way that they're replying to each other, you know? But harsh words make tempers flare. Arguments, your tempers will flare because of the way that you are responding to each other. If you are responding to each other harshly, then it's just going to escalate the problem. A gentle answer deflects anger. If you just respond gently, that person cannot remain mad because eventually they will mirror your emotions. Now, sometimes, not all the time will that work. Sometimes the person will just make up their mind and say, you know, I'm mad at you and there's nothing that's going to change that. That's just the way that some people are. But a lot of people will mirror your emotions. So if you reply with a gentle answer, then that person will calm down. You know, they will stop being so mad and stop being so angry with you or someone else. Maybe, maybe they are mad, but they are venting to you you know, if you remain calm, you know, if you remain the, the kind of uh, chill, 
chilled out, you know, kind of state, then you will kind of pass that on to that person and they will calm down eventually after they vent, you know. Um, but if they're venting to you and you're getting mad as well, then they're just going to stay mad and there's really not going to be much that you can do at that point. Um, possibly an argument. I, I don't know. It just depends on where it goes. Now, God wants us to be different from other people. And the normal way that you respond to someone is mirroring them. If someone's angry with you, you're angry, angry excuse me, with them. And God called us to be different. And if we respond harsh words for harsh words, then that's not being different. That's just being the same as them and we're mirroring them. We're supposed to mirror God. And we are supposed to mirror the way that he would respond. And the way that he would respond is a gentle answer. And that gentle answer, as it says in the verse, will deflect anger. Now, Josiah, with that being said, would you like to give us the verse of this week? The verse of this week is from Proverbs chapter 15, verse 4. Gentle words are a tree of life. A deceitful tongue crushes the spirit. This is saying to be careful with your words because the words you use in response to someone can lift them up or bring them down. Yeah, going back to the whole mirror thing, you know, if you're speaking harsh words to someone, then that's just going to break them down and they're, you know, going to feel less of themselves. That's, again, not in all cases, but sometimes that will be the case. And God wants us to lift people up. You know, God wants us to use these gentle answers to lift people up and make them better than they already are. You know, God wants us to help people, not to destroy people. God is a person that breaks things down and builds things up. But God breaks them down, as I said in a previous video. He breaks things down so that he could build them up better. God wants us to help in that construction, you know, words of affirmation, you know, just complimenting them, you know, saying good things about them. And that will really help them. That will really help them in many, many ways. So, with this all being said, if you would like to give your life to God, if you want a relationship with God, then we're going to give an opportunity for that in just a second. But if you want to go to heaven, the only way that you can is through a relationship with God. Maybe you're saying, I need help, you know, not being so mad at people. You know, I need help to have those gentle answers. Um, then... I want you to say this prayer with us. Dear Lord, I thank you for all that you've done. I thank you for the good and the bad, because I know that everything works for your good. Dear Lord, I pray that you guide my life, that you protect me. And dear Lord, I believe that you sent your son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for my sins. I pray that you help me not get so angry that you help me not to mirror people as much as I do, especially with the negative, harsh words, dear Lord. I pray that you help me gently answer people. And I pray that you help me stand out from others and build people up. In Jesus' name, amen. Have you said that prayer? Congratulations, welcome to the family of God. And... If you like this video, like, subscribe, do all that to stay up to date with everything that we're doing, comment, share, whichever you want to do, and uh, well, that would mean a lot to us if you did that, you know, spreading the word. And uh, we thank you guys so much for watching. As I said, uh, it means a lot to us. And we pray that you have a wonderful, blessed, fantastic, amazing night, day, evening, whichever it is for you. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.